Now, if you've been watching, over the last decade, the crypto industry has really blossomed. I mean, we've gone from a single transactional network in Bitcoin to numerous innovating use cases over multiple blockchain networks. One of the most fascinating assets to follow is the Ethereum network because it pioneered the idea of apps being built on top of the network, allowing developers and the blockchain to work together in building out this new frontier. I mean, through their work, we got decentralized finance and NFTs and even play to earn gaming, but it also came with one important downfall network congestion which causes like astronomical fees for a transaction i mean i've seen gas fees be in excess of like a thousand dollars for a single transaction which makes it unreasonable for most of the world to participate now the answer to this problem is a layer two scaling solution a layer two or l2 solution is basically technology built on top of the ethereum network to perform functions that the network would normally do to take congestion off of the network. So basically instead of paying hundreds of dollars for a transaction on Ethereum, you could pay pennies for a transaction on an L2 solution. Currently, one of the most well-known is the Polygon network. Now, the Polygon network is held in high regard because of its transaction speed and efficiency and its ease of scalability making it a great long-term solution. Recognizing its potential value to the community, developers of popular apps like the NFT marketplace OpenSea and you know, play-to-earn gaming platforms like Naka Gaming are connecting their technology to the Polygon network. At some point, there's a good chance you will use the Polygon network. And I'm hoping there's a good chance you will use that like button and subscribe to the channel because today, I'm going to show you how to use the Polygon network. You're going to learn how to connect to the network, how to get funds in your wallet, and how you can begin connecting to apps. I'm also going to share a, a couple of mistakes to avoid that could cause loss of funds, so I encourage you to watch to the end. So whether you want to buy some NFTs, um, earn some crypto through gaming, or even mint an NFT domain name, you may be faced with the option of using the Polygon network. And although getting started is not really difficult, it is easy to get a little turned around. But don't worry, we're going to review from start to finish how you can begin transacting on the Polygon network. The first item you'll need is a MetaMask wallet. If you're unfamiliar, MetaMask is one of the most popular Ethereum wallets available and it will allow you to connect to the Polygon network. Now MetaMask has a mobile application and browser extension, so you'll have to decide how you would like to access your wallet. Establishing a wallet is very easy, but if you've never established a wallet before, be sure to keep your seed phrase in a safe place. Now once your wallet is created, by default, it is connected to the Ethereum network, but for us to transact on Polygon, we must connect it to the Polygon network. To do this, you have to gather the network information. So I recommend you Googling something like Polygon RPC and choosing the Polygon.technology result. You know, other results may be safe, but to protect yourself from shady characters, I say go with the trusted result. Um, from here, you'll need the chain ID, the RPC URL, and Block Explorer URL. Now, in MetaMask, click the hamburger icon in the upper left-hand corner, and then scroll down until you see Settings. Click that, and then Networks, and then Add Network. So here is where you'll need to enter the network information you collected. For the network name, I mean, you can add something like Polygon. And for the symbol, type in Matic. And then enter the chain ID, the RPC URL, and Explorer URL you found in your search. And then save your information. Now, in most cases, you should automatically connect to the Polygon network. But 
if you don't or you're kind of unsure if you did or not on your home screen click the wallet button at the top of your screen to reveal your available networks and then choose polygon in the drop down now you're connected to the polygon network so now if your goal is just to receive funds through the network at this point you may not need to take any further steps however if you would like to connect to an app then you will most likely need to get some matic in your wallet now adding matic turns out can be a little tricky one option is to visit quickswap.exchange and then look for the buy button in the menu you'll see an option for transact and moonpay so at the time of this video moonpay allows you to buy matic through the polygon network and send it directly to your matic address transact on the other hand requires you to buy eth through the ethereum network which means additional actions are needed which we'll discuss in just a moment if you don't buy it through transact or moonpay the other option is to get your matic from an exchange like coinbase or binance and then get it into your metamask wallet now this is not financial advice but i do like the idea of buying through an exchange because i noticed that besides the fees that transact and moonpay charges the price per coin was about five percent higher than through an exchange which could add up with that said i prefer to use moonpay to buy and send matic to my wallet and i'm going to expand on this choice in just a bit but if you're going to send funds from an exchange you must pay attention to the tokens issued network for example matic is issued through the polygon network but it is also issued through the ethereum network uh, solana and binance smart chain so if you send some solana matic to your ethereum address it could result in loss of funds this is important to note because for example coinbase offers matic but it is the ethereum version and so on the coinbase website it clearly states that sending transactions via polygon mainnet will result in loss of funds so if you have matic on coinbase or if you decide to buy matic through transact then you must send your funds to your ethereum wallet first the great news is as we've already seen metamask supports both ethereum network and polygon network making things quite easy for you and me so to add matic from an exchange you'll need to withdraw your funds from that exchange and send them to your metamask wallet and again make sure you're connected to the ethereum network if that is where your funds were issued from now from here we'll need to bridge our ethereum matic into polygon matic to do so in metamask click the hamburger icon in the upper right corner and then hit the browser button to launch the browser from here we'll need to go to wallet.polygon.technology and then choose bridge now we'll choose metamask and then we'll need to click the sign button to confirm if you're not automatically redirected click the bridge button again to enter the bridge next make sure the deposit button is selected and then choose your funds to transfer to polygon hit the transfer button and then hit continue you'll need to sign and approve the transaction and it will be at this point that you will see the gas charges now keep in mind that it's always a good idea to complete transactions at non-peak times to avoid crazy fees although at times gas fees can be quite excessive you know i've seen gas drop under five dollars so again choosing a slow time can save you some money one resource i use is a gas tracker website my favorite one well is no longer with us rest in peace gasnow.org but etherscan.io slash gas tracker is a great replacement and it will give you a pulse on the current costs you can use this site to track gas and find the best time to bridge your funds over. As I mentioned earlier, I ultimately prefer to use MoonPay to add Matic to my wallet. So like MoonPay charges about $4 for a transaction fee and the price per coin is higher than exchanges, but the total cost 
to purchase may be lower than just the gas fees alone for bridging. Also, gas for transaction on Ethereum is paid in ETH. So if you're trying to bridge Ethereum Matic to Polygon Matic, you'll still need some ETH to complete the transaction. I mean, with MoonPay, I had Matic in my wallet within a few minutes and it cost me under $10 altogether. On a quick side note, MoonPay has to complete KYC or know your customer requirements. So just don't be surprised when they ask for that information. Now with Matic in your wallet, you're ready to connect to apps that support the Polygon network. Connecting is very easy and as simple as using the browser inside MetaMask to visit the website. You know, every site is different, but just look for a connect wallet button or follow the steps provided by the site to connect to it. As long as your MetaMask is connected to the Polygon network and not the Ethereum network, you should have no issues connecting to the website. Now I've done a few transactions through Polygon, like mint my NFT domain name through unstoppable domains. And I have found that the process was smooth and pretty much almost had like zero fees, which is a refreshing difference from Ethereum. You know, for a while, I believed that the Ethereum network was doomed to fail because their gas fees are just unsustainable for the coming influx of retail users. But after using the Polygon network, I've actually found a new confidence in Ethereum, but more importantly, a new confidence in Polygon. I understand that there are other layer two solutions out there, but so far, Polygon has offered an easy streamlined experience, I believe, anybody can navigate. So I like the network and I'm planning to pick up more Matic in the coming future. But what are your thoughts? I mean, have you used Polygon? Please share your experience in the comments section. Also, how do you think Polygon will affect the Ethereum network in the long run? Please also leave that in the comments as well. And lastly, I want to thank you for your time. Your time is so important to me. So I do hope you found value and until next time.